Okay, so this is the first time that I've ever done a video where I'm doing my makeup. Usually my makeup's done and I'm all glamorous and fierce. Uh, my eyes are a little bloodshot because I, I literally I took an afternoon nap with my contact lenses in and I have to keep them in because they work for the show. My hair's been done and I've already applied my moisturizer, which at the moment my moisturizer of choice is the Neostrata. Which actually really works, but the weird thing is that their day cream is really thick and their night cream is really thin. And I would have thought it would be reversed, but whatever. Uh, this is generally my um, daytime uh, eye cream. Because it definitely helps with like dark circles and stuff. So you shake it up. Do that, see? And then you roll it under your eye like so. and you allow it some time to dry. It's actually my ex-fiance, Alex. He uses it. Shh. It's his little beauty secret, don't tell anyone. And you're gonna hear some music on repeat. I apologize. I am uh, getting ready for a show. So what you're gonna see on me tonight is show makeup, not necessarily um, makeup I would wear during the day. Although lately, with all of the girls wearing what they wear, it's, you know, it's not so bad to uh, have that going on. I'm gonna put my plugs in because I think that my ears look like a cat's bottom. And I'm sorry, I have the sniffles. Um, I've had them all day. I think that I quite possibly could be getting sick. I'm not really sure. My friend Aiden gave these to me and I love them. The only thing is, is that they're just so small. And when I put plugs in, I want them to be massive. Cause you know me, it's either go big or go home, honey. I just like my men small. <laughs> a little bit of mango rockstar vodka. I never hurt anyone. It's a great little way to start getting ready. It's actually a really good drink. No, I don't work for them. So the makeup that I'm using today is a very eclectic mix and wide range. It goes from Everything from Revlon and Maybelline to NARS and MAC and Elizabeth Arden. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if it works, it shouldn't matter the label and certain things work better than others. So this is the foundation that I just applied it is Revlon Photo Ready. It's probably, for myself anyway, the foundation that I own with the most coverage. The only problem is, is that it's a bitch to rinse off your hands. It doesn't quite rinse off. You need to wash it. concealer that I use is Age Rewind by um, Maybelline, which by the way is, is running out so terribly. I need to buy a new one that's, uh, I'm just too broke. <laughs> but it works. It, it works and it's not too thick. I know there's a lot of other really great, more, I know MAC has a really great concealer, which I'm going to use on spots around my face. But this is great as a highlighter and everything, and it's nice and sheer, so you don't have to worry about it looking cakey. And you can use this during the day, which is 
difficult to wear concealer under your eye during the day because a lot of times it looks fake. So I just put it here. Keep in mind, like I said, this is show makeup. This isn't, you know, I mean, look, most girls these days could totally wear this during the day and get away with it and look fierce doing it. I unfortunately can't because I look like I'm, I don't know. I look like some sort of transvestite when I wear too much makeup. I think that I'm a, I'm a firm believer that makeup can be, makeup can create beautiful pieces of art. The thing though is that what you have to remember is that you, for the most part, are going to enhance what you already have to work with. If you have nice bone structure and you have, you know, certain things going for you, then don't cover it up. Just enhance what you have. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm highlighting and I highlight with concealer first before I highlight with any sort of eyeshadow because believe it or not, it really does help under the powder to pre-highlight. And I'm just going to do some contouring on my nose which I almost never do unless I'm performing, but like I said, this is show makeup, so I'm gonna give you some show makeup. And here's the MAC concealer that I said I was gonna start with. By the way, I'm sorry. I should, I'll tell you the shades, just in case. Um, the Revlon Photo Ready is nude, which is 04, which is actually my darker shade. I have Shell as well, which is 03. And the MAC concealer um, is NW25. The funny story about this concealer is um, last year on my birthday, which by the way, I scarred from this, so try not to laugh too hard. Last year on my birthday, uh, I, I see that there's still a mark there, but um, I, I decided to use my Apple Lady on my face and uh, and see, as, first of all, I'm spot treating. So there's little dark spots. I'm just trying to like even out my skin tone because that's very important before you start applying powder to make sure that everything is nice and even. Um, so instead of, uh, instead of using um, tweezers to pull this one little black hair out, I decided that I was going to keep using the Epilady and I went like this uh, on my face and I, I really did a number on my skin and um, luckily my amazing fiance at the time was with me and we went down to MAC and we picked up some crap to cover it up. And so, yeah, so now I use that. It works. Also, I have a Smashbox concealer, and I'm going to do something that I don't see a lot of people doing. And, I mean, I have a really nice uh, lip shape, so I don't do it often. And I have to find it, because it's here somewhere. Oh, it's probably in my school bag. Okay, well, then we won't worry about that. Um... Yeah, I don't have it, so I'm not going to bother. But um, I have a highlighter, which is a Smashbox one, which is a, a crayon type highlighter. And I usually do it just outside my lips. And what it does is it highlights the mouth really nice so that the colors that you put on it look just beyond beautiful. So I use something that other queens, I'm sure, I'm not sure if they use, but I use it because I use it during the day, so might as well use it at night, right? 
it's a uh, it's cream blush and it's uh, Sweet William. It's uh, it's a great shade, and I use it during the day when I when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup. I wear this. I remember everything is still wet now. I haven't put any powder to press anything, so this is still appropriate. So I put some on my little brush here. It's the Mac 130 brush, by the way. And I'm gonna put a whole lot more than I normally do. Like I said. It's show makeup, so it's gotta be bigger, bolder, and better than my day makeup. All right. So now I'm going to go under my eyes with my MAC Prep and Prime, which is just a clear powder, by the way. It's, it's clear. And I put it like that on my brush, and I'm going to just do this for the first part. I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag the brush along because I need to, I wanna set it first. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. And this brush is, um, I don't know how old it is, but uh, while brushes carry a lot of bacteria, if you clean them properly, you can have them forever. And this is a brush that I bought at um, Shopper's Drug Motor Pharma Plus at least five years ago. And I cleaned it on a regular basis, so I keep it. And here's what you do. I'm going to apply it like this. I'm going to get a lot on there. So I'm going to just dust it off on the lid and I'm going to do this. And what I'm doing right now is setting my makeup. This isn't the powder that I'm going to use after this. This is my pre-powder powder, if that makes sense. And I'm going to do it all over my face. <sighs> What's important is that if you have facial piercings like myself, um, and you wear makeup, because some people that have facial piercings don't tend to wear a lot of makeup, and um, that's fabulous for them. I tend to not wear a lot of makeup during the day, but like I said, this is show makeup. So at the very end of everything, I'm going to go over this with a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol on it, just to make sure that nothing gets inside my piercing and stuff like that. Because you want it to look fabulous. That's important. Put my music back on. I heard this song for the first time last week, I believe, and I fell in love with it. Decided that I wanted to perform it. So I'm gonna actually perform this song tonight along with some Tony Braxton. Cause Miss Braxton needs some airplay, I'm just saying. So I'm gonna use, um, a brow liner just to sort of emphasize everything going on in here and I'm using a Quo pencil sharpener. Now this is a great pencil sharpener because all of the shavings are stored up in there and you don't have to worry about making a mess. Even though I, tend, I generally make a mess, it's what I do.
Now you could do this particular look without the dramatics of the eyebrow, but you honestly, it's all about, I mean the hair and everything, it needs dramatic as well. You know, it's a show makeup, so you need to do a little more than you normally would. And now I'm going to put my normal powder on all over everything, even over my eyebrows. And you'll see why, because at the very end of this, I'm actually going to powder over. I'm going to powder over my penciled in eyebrows. You'll see. It looks fabulous. So you're going to take your brush, your eyebrow brush. It's my MAC 204. And you're going to... Just brush everything out ever so nicely. Now here's here's where the fun starts. We've applied the base, applied the blush, now the fun starts. So my base base eyeshadow is Annabelle and uh, it is number 200. And you're going to put that all over your eyebrow, uh, your eyebrow lid, sorry, your eyelid. <laughs> now it doesn't look like much because it isn't. There's no color to this. It's just a sheer, almost sheer. It's still white, but it's a nice little base color that you're going to put on. Right? And now... I'm going to use the Revlon 12-hour uh, um, shadow, and it's 14 nude elements is the shade that it is. And what I use this for is the white. So here's what I do. I use the thin end of, a, of one of these brushes here, and I come up in here. And now I think you'll be able to see it on camera, but do you notice how this eyebrow has just raised all by itself just a little bit of highlighter under the brow bone there and you've raised your eyebrow you got to be careful not to put it on too thick because you're going to blend this later so you still want it to look good and now with the thicker end i'm going to come in here and i'm going to highlight in here And now I'm going to go over it with my MAC, Mylar is the shade, with the 227 brush as well. And now, now because this is, um, because like I keep saying, it's show makeup. It's not something that's just for every day. There's a lot more that goes into putting this on than my other makeup. So now I'm gonna put a sheer sort of pigment over the whole thing. And the sheer pigment that I'm going to use, I'm sorry, I keep going to use a towel. I should have a towel in front of me, but I don't. The sheer pigment I'm going to use is called Naked. Of course, it's sheer, right? So it really is just a little bit of sparkle. Nothing too over the top. See that nice little gleam there? Because when you're performing... Honestly, you want the light to catch everywhere you possibly can. It's all about playing tag with the lighting. So you do what you can to sort of bring everything out that you can. And now I'm going to go over this again with a different shade. This is just base. It's all about building, building, building color and shades and everything else to sort of bring it all together. I'm just don't love you. Uh, so 
And now, here's where the fun starts. This is my favorite part of putting makeup on. When you start to use color. So for me, I like to use the uh, Revlon Hip Line because I like these purples. These purples are, are just beautiful, beautiful shades. All right, so the three brushes I'm gonna use for this are my limited edition Christmas brushes, which are the red ones. These were from years ago, but every year they come out with the same one, just in a different color. So the one that I'm using is 275, 217, and now this is last year's 219. And you can actually go on the MAC website and it will tell you exactly what each number brush is for, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to start with my 219, which you can see is this little brush here. The only problem I find with this brush is that even after you've cleaned it, once you put a darker pigment on it, it sticks because it's a white brush. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some dark purple into the crease here. And then you're going to come down here. And you're going to do the same with the other eye. Your first step right there. Do you see it? See, we've just drawn some lines in here. And now we're going to go through with the 217 brush with the lighter purple here. And we're going to blend it up and bring it down. And now you're gonna go in with black, which is Max Carbon, just into the very end. This is this look right here, this eyeshadow that we're doing right now is all about layering. You're gonna layer about three or four times the exact same colors over and over again so that you get that depth that you want. And now, back to the purple. Dark purple first, you're gonna go over the black that you just did, and now you notice what we're doing is we're adding some depth with the purple here. And now back in with the light purple.
And you'll notice I do little tiny circular motions because I honestly, I find that it helps to blend the shadow that much better. And now the really cool thing is that you can go back through with your MAC 227 brush and do this. So any sort of like, any sort of loose shadow that's happened out there, because it happens. Shadow is a powder, it flakes off, so you gotta make sure that you make sure it's pretty. <laughs> Best way to put it. Come in here like this. What's really smart, which I haven't learned how to do yet, I know I'm admitting to not knowing how to do something. What's really smart is uh, you put really thick powder under here, and what happens is that it, um, it catches the flaky stuff, and you can just keep going and going and going. I just prefer to go through and wipe it. So this brush here is a Quo brush. It doesn't have a number on it. I don't know if it ever did. Uh, and I'm using this white NYC. It's called... Um, Smooth Mineral Loose Eye Powder. The really cool thing is that this came with like this liquid stuff and you could turn this into an eyeliner, which I never liked for myself, but it looks really pretty on other people. So I'm gonna go into all of the lighter parts, just like this, and I'm gonna put white over them. Essentially what I'm doing now is blending, again, the lines of the other shadows and I'm highlighting. It's makeup multitasking, honey. And now, now is where the fun stuff comes in. This is my, my other favorite part, where we start to add pigments. So the pigments that I use are MAC, they're stacked pigments, and, um, pardon me, I'm going to use my uh, 217 brush again, and I'm just going to go in, and I'm just going to do something like this, I'm just going to like tap it in, brush it off, try to get like some shadow from the side, brush it off, and then shake it, and then... Voila! Do you see that really shimmery, beautiful pigment in there? And now, I'm gonna do the darker again. As you notice, like, like I said, I keep doing dark light, dark light, dark light. Now before I put that purple pigment on, I'm gonna put a little more carbon in the crease there. the dark and I'm going to go right back over that carbon
And now over that darker purple, we're gonna go right back in with the lighter purple again. One last time. Just to blend in the lines. And now dust off the excess that's come down there because there will definitely be excess around. And now I'm gonna jump ahead to the eyebrows. Let me find it, it's here somewhere. Now the brush that I'm gonna use, actually this is a great, I can show you both. So, this is the regular size 266 and this is the limited edition. I find that the, the brushes for this one are softer than the brushes for this one. I don't know why. So I always use the limited edition one. And now this is the Smashbox uh, thing here. The problem is, is that it broke. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with the dark shadow. notice a little bit of a make makeup mistake there so the really cool thing uh, is q-tips are your best friend no watch and it all but never happened look at that And now, for the final time, we're gonna go in with this, actually, and we're gonna use this silver brush from Quo. Brush a little bit here. And that's all highlighter right in there. And if you want, there's nothing wrong with grabbing a little more purple and coming up a little bit further. Because remember, this is party girl club makeup, so it doesn't really matter how much you put on. You can keep applying and keep applying. It's still gonna look fabulous. Probably look better without the red eyes, but unfortunately that's what happens when I sleep with my lenses in. And now, one of the final steps. So back to brush 266 again. This is bronze, by the way. And I'm just gonna put it just underneath there. And 
And the eyeliner I'm using today is uh, Carbon Black. It's L'Oreal Paris. Let me just, I don't wanna, oh, there we go. There's some little flakies down there that I don't wanna rub in because it's much harder to get makeup off once you've rubbed it in than it is to flake it off right natural. So the eyeliner, I'm gonna go right into the center. Put it back in because I just put powder on it. I'm just surprised I didn't get any makeup on my shirt, which is white. <laughs> which, now that I said that, by the way, I'm sure I'm going to end up with makeup on my shirt. Now, one more thing that I use is a Revlon Clear Mascara, and I use this to set my eyebrows. And it's generally good to put this on um, once you've set everything else because this is going to harden everything and make it look fierce. If you don't have this or you can't afford it, a little bit of hairspray on an eyebrow brush works perfect. And now I'm going to use a little bit of uh, extra intense eyeliner here. It's L'Oreal again and I'm going to do this on the inside of my eyelid down here. And now, the blush. Because I like to let everything dry a little bit before I get in and put the mascara on. So, what I use is the Guerlain, uh Terracotta. It's uh, Burnett's O2. And I use this as a bronzer slash... Um, contour agent. So I'm going to use my uh, 123 brush and contour just in here, just in here, and on the sides of my nose, just to add that sort of bronzed glow that you see on all the Hollywood types. And then, now this is the process. So this is NARS Orgasm, yes, with my bigger brush, which is the number 150, and I'm just going to pat it, one, two, one, two, it's like it's like a nice little rosy sort of tinge, and then I'm going to go over that with Rhapsody in two, which is the mineralized brush, with this brush again, and just a couple of times. Now, did you see that? <coughs> see that sort of shimmery, dewy little finish? And now the last step for my blush is Silver Dusk. Now, too much of this, keep in mind, will make your skin look wet and oily. So you've got to be very careful.
But remember, this is all about catching the light on stage, so you want this kind of stuff on. You don't want to forget it. And now I'm going to use two mascaras. The first mascara I'm going to use for the top is uh, a newer one. It's called Million Lashes. And it, it's amazing. Amazing. And I, what I do is I put a thin layer on each eyelash and then I come back to build it. Put it back in. Don't pump your brush, by the way, because it puts air in there and it's not good for it. Put the brush in and swirl it around to get more mascara on it that way. And now I put the thing back in and then I'm going to go to the CoverGirl exact eye lights for blue. Even though I have green contacts in, the blue is still really nice on it. And I do my bottom lashes. Now you don't want to put too much mascara on your lower lashes because you will may get the sort of unintentional subtext of Tammy Faye Baker and you don't want that. And now one last coating on the top. Now I'm going to use a special shade of lipstick, which I, I adore it. I love it very much. First, I'm going to use uh, Annabelle Lip Liner, and it is in, um, it's called Demure, and it's number 405. And of course it breaks while I'm in the middle of using it. So my favorite lipstick that I'm going to use right now is Lady Gaga's shade for MAC Viva Glam. Viva Glam to date I'm, has raised upwards of $40 million for AIDS research. Um, 
100% of the proceeds from all of the Viva Glam list, it goes towards the MAC AIDS fund. And so you should really support that. And it's great when celebrities like Cindy Lauper and Lady Gaga and Lil' Kim do it and Nicki Minaj um, as well. I mean, the very first Mac girl ever was a drag queen. It was RuPaul. And uh, you can actually see the Viva Glam ads from back then in their red latex boots and it's fierceness personifying. And now I'm going to go back over and line again. And this is the cheapest uh, lip gloss you can find. Um, I haven't had time to go up and get the MAC version of it. I'm sure there is one. It's just a pearlescent which looks so beautiful over this pink. There you have it. This is uh, my show makeup, my drag makeup. For those of you who have always asked how I do it, now you know my secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, now I have to get a straw for my drink because I have lipstick on. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, yeah, so look, if you want to know how to do some other stuff, Leave comments. I promise I don't bite unless I get paid extra. Um, yeah, leave a comment or inbox me and I promise you I'll get back to you and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I know if I know it. Um, thank you, as always, for tuning in. You are the best fans that possibly could ever exist and the best followers that could ever possibly exist. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I hope that this helped anyone who needed some help. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, as always. So, yeah, get on getting. Start sharing this video. Start watching with your friends. And uh, have fun with it. Cheers, guys and girls and everybody in between.